Okay, another White Rose Maths bar model in question. I chose this one because um, I felt that my answer looked completely different to everybody else's and um, and I thought it might be helpful to me for me to explain how I got my answer and why I drew it the way I did. Okay, um, the ratio of blue to red marbles in a box is 1 to 2. 28 blue marbles are added to the box. 248 red marbles are also added to the box and the ratio of blue to red marbles is now 1 to 5 and we are asked how many red marbles were in the box at the start. Okay, now I did see, um, well let me just show you how I would start. Um, I got sort of two colours going on, I've got a ratio involved, um, I am going to do what's called a comparison model. Okay, so there's blue, this is going to represent red, I'm going to draw one block to represent the um, the number of blue marbles originally in the box and there'll be two blocks to represent the number of red marbles and I hope you can see that that then represents this ratio here of, of two to one. There are two times um, as many red marbles as blue. Okay, so far so good. Now you could also have perhaps, and I have seen people do this, where um, they're going to, they drew a single bar <coughs> to represent the box of marbles and they had something like this where this was blue and this was red. Um, Yes, of course you can do this, but it's it's harder to then to start adding amounts and to manipulate this. But of course it is, you know, where you might start when you are drawing a model to represent a problem. You're not going to instantly draw a perfect solution unless it's you know a, a relatively simple problem. You might have have several false starts, um, and you shouldn't be afraid of of rubbing everything out and starting all over again. So I'm going to. Think, no, I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to do my comparison model. All right, <clears throat> so I've got one to two. I then add, I know that we're going to add 28 blue marbles to the box. Um, there we go. And I'm so I'm going to add an amount here that's going to represent the 28 that I'm adding. The size of this. Um, I I don't know how it relates to the size of this, so it doesn't matter. It's not one of these um, equal size portions, though. Okay, um, right. So how does that help me? I know I'm going to add here. I'm going to add a much larger amount, 248. So um, I suppose I should make that red, shouldn't I? Or let's go for pink. So 248. Okay is going to be added here. Um, what else do I know and how else can I figure this out? When my experience at drawing bar modeling, I'm thinking, you know, when am I given information that can help me? And that's when something equals something else or when we've got equal size portions. Here, it's all been thrown out because of these added numbers that I don't know how they relate to these amounts, but I am told that this, okay, whatever the, the, the size of this in the end, is five times the size of this. Okay, so if I then drew, this is the, so this is the basic amount plus the 28, all right, in the original scenario, that's the basic amount. In the, in the second part, this is now a basic unit of blue, all right, and five of them equal what is now red. So if I drew, oh, I forgot I'd changed my pen. So if I drew, okay, another one, um, I'm going to cheat a bit and just draw the black blocks in first. Okay, so I'm going to need five of these. So one, two, three, four, and five, okay, and then so plus the twenty eights, okay, twenty eight, twenty eight, 
28, 28, 28. Okay, so where I've got this one to five, so that's that's now one portion of blue, two, three, four, five. That, we're told, is the same size as one red. Okay, so if I do this, you can see, all right, so that if that's one red and five blues. Okay, five blues to one red. Um, so what do I have here? I have, I'm, I'm not quite sure I'm getting my aha moment, but I am realizing now that I need um, five of these 28s. Okay, so if I do 28 times five, I get 140 and this is when I'm going to decide to redraw my model okay so I'm going to do blue and I'm going to do red and what I'm going to do is just tidy this up a bit and I'm going to put all of these equal block size blocks together all right so we've got this if we look at where the this now this looks like the original but remember I'm multiplying this by five so I'm going to do that's two three four five okay and then I'm going to add on my five times 28 so And this is my 140. I'm putting them all together in, in one lump. So I know that um, five times the original amount, the original unit of blue, and five times this together will equal um, how many reds I have. So if I go back here, and then put in the reds and said this will be this is equal and I, I know they are so even if I draw it badly I know what it actually means okay so can you see how this is um, a little bit tidier now and I'm think you might hope you, you might agree this is um, going to to show me actually what I need to do next okay because now I can see that the um, the difference between 248 and 140 because 248 goes 248 goes over to here that the difference between them must be equal Okay, I'll do it down here, must be equal to these three blocks. Okay, so 248 subtract 140. Gives me 108. Okay, so this is 108. All right, so I know that 108 is equal to these three blocks, three equal size portions. And I know they're equal size portions, all right? They're, they're five times these equal bits here, all right? I've kept track in my head what's going on. Um, so if I divide um, 108 by three, I get 36, which means that each of these blocks 
must be worth 36. And if these are worth 36, so are these, all of these blocks are worth, have uh, represent 36 marbles, okay? Um, and now I can calculate, so I can go back and find out what was the question, how many red marbles were in the box at the start? Well, in the box at the start and um, were two portions of 36, because these are just the same, so this is 36 and this is 36, and we just want to do 36 times 2. which is 72. So how many red marbles were in but were 72. Okay. So um, I hope it's, it's, you can see how it's this model here, which is a, a development of this one. This is the one that really shows me what's going on. Um, with this one, it was um, harder for me to see, although I could see that I needed the 5 times the 28. Um, when I do questions like this, I, I tend to just jump to doing this sort of model because I know that, um, as I said, in this case, the blue was going to be 5. Um, I needed 5 times the blue, which meant 5 times the unit block that I had and 5 times the added extra. But, you know, um, it's the experience of drawing it this way, I suppose, that, that helps you understand um, what this represents. But there's a, this, it's this model for me that shows you how the difference in these two amounts is um, you can match that with some units that you know represent equal parts. Um, I've been blathering on. I do hope that helps.